welcome. Welcome. Just want to share my experience about being a vegan for the last 13 years. It's really destroyed my health. Here's my blood test. <laughs> Isn't that a lark? I'm saying, I want to see your blood test after this 31 days, Harley. 31 days doesn't mean shit. I'll show you my fucking blood test after almost 13 years vegan. I went vegan April 2001. So it's almost 13 years. No meat, no milk, no eggs, no fish, no animal products. With the exception, I do swallow about three or four flies per year. So some of you trolls might credit my athletic drug-free performance from a history of chronic fatigue to where I am now, age 36, fucking fittest of my life ever. Some of you, may, some of you trolls may credit that to the occasional fly I accidentally swallow. I'll be riding down the road, I'll be like... <coughs> doesn't even come out. So I swallowed him to fly. So technically, some trolls out there say, Drew Norder, he's not a fucking vegan. He's not a vegan. He's powered on fucking fly meat. Well, I say, fuck you guys. you faceless trolls. You can't say shit to my face. Because you're scared of 65 kilo Drew Norder. Might slap you on the cheek with a banana skin. <laughs> anyway, enough trash talking. Here is my blood tests, done at a legit blood clinic, not some naturopathic, homeopathic, you know, wishy-washy, spiritual woo-woo thing. Which is fine if that's what people are into, but I'm into legit blood tests because I want to provide legit answers and legit solutions to people. I don't live in fairy tale world. So here's my blood test, almost 13 years, vegan diet, and I don't supplement testosterone. Check it out. So we have here testosterone. This was tested at 4.20 in the evening. This is, the testosterone is always lower then, so I was still, still decent testosterone. You can add about 30%, 40% of that value. There you go. So testosterone levels are lowest in the afternoon during right a solid effort. Now we have sodium. I eat a low sodium diet. Yep, my sodium levels are still <laughs> pretty solid. Potassium at 4.1. Smashing all those bananas last 30 days. What the fuck? How does that work? So everything's working real good. Glucose. You should have diabetes, right? Wow. Look at that. Glucose. Fantastic. The urea. Nice and low. People say sugar raises your urea, uric acid. It's low. I'm like under. Under. All the calciums and stuff. All fantastic. Phosphate. That was a little bit high, but phosphate can spike up in the afternoon, especially after exercise, so that's no concern. It's only one point over. Um, that's not an issue. All the proteins, albumin, everything else is fine. Look at that. Just fantastic. Textbook stuff. Textbook stuff. Just really good stuff. Cholesterol, perfect. The doctor actually remarked, Mr. Harley, you've got very, very good, very good uh, cholesterol there. Keep it up. <laughs> I wish I got him on film. Here's the important stuff. Here's the important stuff. Hemoglobin. That's what we want. 147. Hematocrit 44. That's fantastic. That's what we want. Nice hematocrit. Nice hemoglobin. All these things are really good. Really good. White blood cell. Immune system function. Fantastic. 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 Everything within range. Nice and healthy. Nice and healthy cholesterol again. Triglycerides. That's always an interesting one. So less than 1.5 on 0 0.7. 0 0.7. Helpful cholesterol. We're on greater than 1. We're good on that. Low cholesterol. The LDL, we're less than 2.5. So that's good. Fantastic 2.8 ratio. <laughs> that's what we want. A 5.1. We've got a 2.8. Very good. Very good. Very good for the vegan lifestyle. The, the triglycerides is a real funny one, isn't it? Sugar raises triglycerides, yet Duranida has perfect triglyceride levels. Iron levels. Iron levels. 250,000 kilometers of training. My iron's pretty good. What's important is your ferritin stores. That's your stores of iron. So I'm very, very good there. Um, transferrin S, that's very good. Transferrin, the basic one, 2.3 to 6. That's fantastic. 2.63. 
So if you look at overall iron, that's what you want. Not just one. So we have a comprehensive study here, iron studies. We have all four the important ones. People just use one number. doesn't mean much. You want to have a, a whole picture there. So that's fantastic iron, iron stores for someone who doesn't take iron supplement. Fantastic. So we have here thyroid function, the thyroid function, fantastic, healthy thyroid, healthy, healthy, healthy. I used to have thyroid issues, no medication, lifestyle changes that. Vitamin D deficiency, oh hang on, no, Duran Rod is fine. Oh, he gets sunshine, he gets sunshine and fruits and sports, sunshine. You got vitamin D, get sunshine. <laughs> And another testosterone related one, we have the, again, testosterone isn't one little testosterone test doesn't mean much. You want to have a whole picture. And we've got this one here, the binding globulin hormone. It's 40. Very good. A horny durin rider. When your carbs are strong, so is your dong. So is your dong. And the free testosterone, again, this is tested at 420. So it's, you know, at about 20 to 30, 40 percent more. And I probably would have tested over that. So maybe next time I'll do a morning testosterone test, which is a bit more accurate. So again, you can see when your carbs are strong, so is your dong. I just said that. I'll say it again. <laughs> Vitamin B12. Now, I haven't supplemented for a few months, but my B12 is still good. So this is what my B12 level sits at now without supplementation. I like to have it higher than this. I like to have it around 1,000. That's my personal preference. But that's doing right as B12 with... Months of no supplementation there, so still very solid. Things have changed for me there. There you go. So the fruit diet, the vegan diet, does it work? If you get enough calories and eat a lot of organic, a bit of bruised fruit is good for you. Let's have a look on the inside of this one here. Oh, that's a bit mushy, isn't it? <laughs> but there you go. Perfect inside. There you go. So what you want. Blood test, check it out. Let's go eat some bananas. So I often get asked, Harley, how can you increase your testosterone? Is it because you've got a gorgeous girlfriend, your testosterone level is so strong as a 36-year-old endurance ultra stamina athlete? Well, I think that definitely helps, but my tips to maintaining healthy testosterone levels as indicated by these recent blood tests from just a few days ago, my number one tip to healthy, high testosterone would be minimize the stress in your life. Minimize the stress. Second tip would be to stand up straight when you walk. It's been shown from Harvard University studies that if you stand up straight, you boost your free testosterone levels in your blood. Another tip, guys, would be get to bed early, 8 to 9 p.m. for peak morning testosterone. Peak testosterone. Go to bed between 8 and 9 p.m. for peak testosterone. Another tip, make sure your diet's rich, rich in carbohydrates. I like fruit, bananas. I have to have bananas in my daily diet for peak testosterone level. Bananas. When your banana intake's strong, so is your dong. That's my tips for testosterone levels. So there you go. A lot of people go, I wouldn't know what the fuck that means, Harley. That's just a bunch of numbers. Basically, the doctor, he didn't want to be on tape, but I asked him, he goes, oh, no, no. He said, you're as fit as a fiddle, you're as healthy as a rabbit, whatever you're doing is fine. Your vegan diet's obviously working for you, mate, so keep on doing it. I said, Doc, maybe I need some testosterone. I'm a vegan, you know, I don't eat, haven't eaten meat for 13 years. <laughs> and he's like, mate, I couldn't give you testosterone. I'm not a dodgy doctor. You look at your testosterone levels, they're fine. You look great, mate. You're looking healthy, you look like a whippet. Get out of here, you're done. So I'm thinking what I have to do to get testosterone would be do the paleo primal diet, get late nights, run on stimulants, get my testosterone levels way down, and then do a lot Mark Sisson and Dave Asprey do, get a scoop for the old tea. It's hard to get it if you're a vegan because you're going to have good testosterone levels if you're looking after your carbs. When your carbs are strong, so is your dong. When you cut your carbs down, get late nights, testosterone levels right down deep down low so there you go there's my blood tests all jokes aside it's a legit lifestyle legit lifestyle judge by results not by theory judge by results not by theory we're not designed to eat dead meat when you walk along and see a dead kangaroo or a dead cat or a dead cow or a dead rat or a dead dog do you go mm, yeah i'll eat me some of that 
when you see some mangoes falling off the tree or whatever, you're like, hmm, some, something's fruity around this. Go check it out. Dogs like to eat meat because dogs are meat eaters. Humans, we have to spice it, cook it, fucking marinate in sugar or whatever before we eat it. We're not designed to eat meat. Otherwise, we would bite into a fucking piece of roadkill. Just satisfaction. Watch a dog or an eagle or a wolf eat roadkill. It's just like, oh, they just like eating like a juicy mango or a juicy piece of sweet watermelon. We're frugivores by design. Carve the fuck up. We'll see you next video. Give me some more requests down below. Thanks for all your support. Even you trolls. Love you lots. Carve up too. And just last, you know, a couple of trolls go, Well, I want to see your Medicare number. I want to see your address. I want to see your date of birth, your name and doctor's name and all the addresses. I want to see all the details before I believe that's legit. I'll tell you what. It's probably not the smartest fucking idea to put personal information on the internet. But if any trolls doubt that these aren't legit tests, I'll put a $100,000 fucking dollars on it. Me and you meet up. We'll go to the doctors. We'll go to the clinic. You can see the test yourself. If you have any doubts, if you have any fucking doubts, these aren't 100% legit tests for my blood, we'll do them again. I'll bet $100,000 on it, they'll be the same fucking results. Okay? Just in case there's any doubts.